Hi everyone, comic book reviewer here, this time reviewing on Jackass 3. Now, as you know, Jackass 3, as it's known on most home media, as well as Jackass 3D, is meant to be a 3D reality comedy television that was meant to be the third installment in the Jackass film series, as well as being a sequel to Jackass number 2. And yeah, this is also meant to feature the final appearance of Ryan of Ryan Dunn before his tragic death, as well as featuring the last appearance of Rick Taylor, who died in 2019, nine years after the end of Jackass 3D. And I would say, watching it now, is that some of the gags are not bad, but I think some of them we've seen kind of before. Like, yeah, I kind of think the point with the whole Bram riding the kind of water ski thing and then sliding into the bushes, we've seen before. And I kind of think, yeah, when you kind of got the whole be tetherable reminds me of the whole limousine thing from the second film. It feels like some gags kind of rehash themselves, and it seems like some of the gags don't really work as much. I think the bad grandpa thing we've seen before, and yeah, again, there is a little bit of funny moments still there, but it just feels a bit weak. I also think when you do have Beavis and Butthead at the opening by explaining the 3D technology made sense, because when you had films like Avatar and that, it showed you what, what 3D glasses could actually do. And yeah, they actually bring back Mike Judge once again to voice the two characters. And I think at the same time, they do bring in a lot of famous guest stars. One of which also being actors like Jean William Scott, Edward Bonderbell, also as well American footballers like Eric Angers, Jared Allen, and Josh Brown, and also bringing in, and also bringing in, like I said, Will Olden, then to kind of voice the character, to, to sort of play in the roles, and even Mike Judge to return to voice Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> but I think there is still some newer and kind of improvements over the kind of rehashed of the other comedy sketches, one of which you have one of the cast members sweating a lot and one of them kind of drinking the sweat, and another one having Wee Man and a bunch of other small people going out fighting in a bar and kind of making the people think it was serious. And yeah, you even got more over-the-top stunts, like one with Bram using his butt under a train's um model to then make it look like it's eruption from kind of crapping out a big one. I think the problem I would say with Jackass 3, and this is where I do agree with some critics, that some of the sketches we've seen before, and it does kind of seem like some of them we've seen before, all just kind of rehashing the same things. And yeah, the problem with rehashing things is sometimes this can kind of cause people to get annoyed with you and sometimes to cause your fandom to kind of get divided. I think what's interesting is, yeah, you even do have Bram's parents going into an apartment to a kind of hotel building and sort of be scared off by a giant gorilla in a gorilla suit. I mean, a guy in a gorilla suit, and you even do have them kind of using super glue to kind of strap onto each other until after a few minutes. I think there is good ideas about Jackass 3D, but I just think, oh, have you thought, some of the sketches we've seen before, some of them they do add newer ones, but some of them are just complete rehashes of the other ones. I think the point of Jackass and with Bram, also Johnny Knoxville and that, is meant to be them doing newer and improver things. 
I just think in my overview thought, we've seen the sketches before. It's time to do something new, something fresh. And if I ever do get Jackass Forever, I will be able to try and do an honest review on that one. But I think this one just feels like a shallow imitation of the other two. So, I think it deserves a thumbs down. Not great, not good, but really dull and unentertaining. So, come up with a reviewer here, signing out.